What's up, YouTube? It's Jabo Roy Kavidi. I'm back with another video. Today, we're going to be going over the LACC game. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm the one in the middle. I just headed the ball not too long ago. And we're doing a little analysis of the game. So, as you guys can see, I'm making the run. I'm going towards the, the middle. Marcus is right there. He's passed it back. I, tr I try to create a space for Manny's to pass it back to me, but didn't get the ball. So, I was like, whatever. Now, I'm checking in as well. Long ball to Menis, I, I noticed that um, he needs some support. Making a little run in behind to create space for the forward. Plays a forward, little one, two. I get tackled from the back. It should have been a penalty, but as you guys can see, we scored. So I was all good with it. And yeah, one nil for us. That was an amazing team goal. You know, a lot of play, a lot of good plays happened over there. This is the second time I get the ball. Just, you know, easy pass to my center midfielder who's facing the field. Marcus plays it back to me. I see the pressure's all in this area. He turns, plays um, Kyler back in the middle, and we try to look for a different place to play the ball. Next play over here, as you guys can see, I'm wide open in the middle. I don't know. I, I feel like I should have gotten the ball earlier, but it's perfectly fine. I played him back. A um, little mix-up back there. Personally, I feel like, you know, you can deal with that ball. But, um... I think it was a little bit dangerous. Maybe I should have held off a little bit to keep him from getting the ball. And then a little mistake in the back. We had multiple mistakes back there, but I don't think that situation should have ended up in a goal. I think that it was easily, it was very predictable. Like we all knew what was going to happen. We just had to like focus in, you know, come, uh, get into the tackle and just, you know, earn the ball. Over here, I'm pretty sure that um, if Manny's played me on a one touch ball towards the line, it would have been a lot better. A little chip ball towards that space that was wide open but it's okay. Next play over here, I get a little throw in. Uh, the touch was nice, just the pass, you know, keep it firm and on the ground and direct. That was a big problem in that pass. I have to focus on the passing. Over here, we get a long ball from David. It goes towards Seb, Seb uh, flicks it up. As you guys can see, I fight, I play it out wide to Connor. Connor receives it, brings it down, plays Jay. He's having a lot of pressure. Uh, we're opening up pretty well for him, but I feel like a one-touch pass would have been better, but yeah, he calls a he calls a little foul over there. I personally don't think that was a foul. There's a throw in, throwing out long. I try to fight for it. Nothing there. Now I fight for it. I take that ball, drive in. I see that there's no one open, so I just go back, play him. I don't know. I personally should have communicated with Marcus, tell him to go back to Adam. He probably didn't see him or something, so gotta communicate with my team better. Yeah, long ball to me. I just sense the pressure, so I just knock it to Connor, our left back. Connor makes a nice little move back there, pretty decent move. And yeah, that's perfect ball towards me. I see him overlapping, and personally, I feel like I should have timed the run a little bit better, maybe played it a little bit in front of him so he could take a one-touch shot. But um, overall, it was decent. Then a long ball. I send him a long ball towards the left wing. Try to make a run through the middle. He tried to chip it to me, but unfortunately got blocked. And now we're just keeping the ball, you know, moving around. Try to find an area. As you guys can see, I'm trying to look for like a little passing and get the ball. This was a perfect time. Boom, plays me the ball. I turn. I look at that left back. And just da, ah, hit it out wide. Make it run into the middle. I was waiting for a crossing. That was a good opportunity to cross it first time. But um, yeah, we ended up doing a little bit of. We lost the ball over there, which is unfortunate. Back here, I sensed the pressure. Boom, got the ball. I saw that I sensed the pressure, so I just played it back out wide. I saw Seba has, you know, Seba's a player with, that has a good touch. So I just played him up in the air, and I, uh, I'm i confident with his touch. So I just played him up, and he just had to play it out wide, so we were good. Over here, as you guys can see, I just cleared the ball. Nothing too special, you know, just clearing the ball out of the box. Uh, got the danger out of there. And, um, as you guys see, I keep pressing another long ball to my forward, Alex, because I noticed that the other center back was going up, so I just hit it along. As you guys see, we got the ball. I'm checking in again. He plays me. I see that I can't really do anything because the ball was going pretty slow, so I just played it back to him, and he whips in a beautiful cross. Unfortunately, we didn't get a head on it, but, um, yeah, the idea was there. Over here, I flick it back and uh, get a little foul. Now I get the ball in the middle. I was trying to take a shot, but he was in my way, so I, I couldn't shoot uh, the first one. Um, 
I tried to shoot it with my left foot, but he was in the way, so I just decided to take it back one step. So he goes in front of me. I take a touch to my right foot and finish with the right, but it was a little bit harder. Over here, Dadon gets the ball. As you guys can see, I'm trying to check in, you know, to get that little touch, but unfortunately he loses it. Play good defense, get the ball back, play it through the middle. I thought he was going to play Taj. You see Taj is creating that space at the top of the box. I was in playing back, but unfortunately he decided to go to Dadon, and uh, he was offside. Over here, I made a bad play, but um, personally, I feel like on throw-ins, it's very important that you throw the ball directly to your teammate. Um, don't let the ball bounce in front of your teammate because, first of all, it wastes time. So it's very important that you throw the ball directly to the, to the player's foot so you don't waste time and they can control it on the first one, you know what I mean? When the ball bounces, first of all, it's a little bit harder to control. It shouldn't. It's not that big of a problem, but it's a little bit harder to control. And second of all, it takes a lot of time away from the player that's receiving the ball. So notice when you're throwing the ball in for a throw-in, throw it directly to their foot and throw it firm because I'm a good enough player to receive firm passes and I'm pretty sure everyone should be able to do that at this level. So um, yeah, just try to eliminate the bounce next time on throw-ins. Over here, I check in, get the ball in the middle, find the other center back out wide, you know, switch the point of attack. We play it out to our right back. Right back brings it in towards me play towards the middle i'm making a run in behind nice little skills from alex beautiful skills over there beautiful pass as well i laid off to taj um he tries a shot over there which was decent i feel like that overall play was so beautiful everyone received the ball and we just created a beautiful chance over there over here um i don't know what was going on there was like a little bit, a little bit of a complication between our center backs miscommunication and um we just we laid him off for a finish that was pretty that was a really good shot pretty unstoppable honestly it's very unexpected over here alvin takes on the player beautifully jay with a beautiful turn plays it out wide making the run behind beautiful by jay that was a great movement to create space for me plays it towards me in the middle i play jay jay back to me i notice that we can't really do anything in that situation so i go back and just try to switch the point of attack Personally, I feel like we should try to find our left back over here if possible. I can't really see what's going on over there, but um, overall it was fine. Boom, another ball towards the middle, towards Dadon. Dadon gets the ball, nice little, he tried to dribble, but uh, it was a little unfortunate. But overall, the idea was there. And um, personally, I feel like we should have went the other way, but as I said earlier, you know, you don't really know what's going on over there. This play was absolutely beautiful. As you can see, he's checking in. Gets the ball. Unfortunately, he gets clipped, but the idea was there. I noticed it. He noticed it. We both worked together um, and created a little advantage right there. It was a beautiful play. Unfortunately, he got clipped, but, um, you know, free kick at the top of the box. You can't complain with something like that. So, way to uh, notice each other and recognize the play. I got the ball through, through the middle. Played out wide of Ben. Ben dribbles in. Beats the player. Right here, I should have gone the ball. Just that right there. But um, he tried to go for a shot, which is perfectly fine. But um, I feel like we could have created a better situation from, from that attack. I got the ball over here. It's a little bit, it was a little bit like 50-50, but I should have, I should have just received it and taken my time. I decided to try to meg him, which is honestly a little bit too cocky. Uh, next time, I think I'm just going to receive it and try to beat him one-on-one -on -one because it's more consistent. But the idea was there. And um, yeah, next time I know what I'm going to do. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please leave a like and subscribe. Peace out.